Hello folks and welcome back to the program. A few weeks ago I got a comment on my Hi-Fi Done Cheap video. Somebody asked the question, now how do you go about keeping your space clean, your stereo and everything clean as, as you do? Uh, and in this video we'll get into some tips as to how you can keep this setup constantly clean. If you're going to keep a uh, high quality audio file kind of setup that's gonna sound good, you can't have dust, dirt, and debris hanging around your stereo. Let's go ahead and talk about Manza Illustrations. That is my business. With my wife, we go ahead and we make high quality pieces of artwork for you guys, uh, whether that be uh, commission pieces, t-shirt designs, logos, children's books, whatever you are thinking about creatively, I can make it a reality for you. Reach out to Manza Illustrations today. I'll get you a free quote. It's in the description in this video down below, and we'll get get started as soon as possible. That is how I have the time to delve into the past with you of yesteryear and, and tackle these Manza Media topics with you guys, including uh, vintage audio uh, and things like that. So with the sponsor out of the way, let's talk about it. How can I keep this system of mine that I paid money for, vintage or otherwise, brand new or not, how can I keep it clean? Now I'm gonna read the exact comment. Could you explain your process of cleaning up and making your audio equipment look good? I responded to Andrew with the following. It's about keeping it simple. Keep it simple and minimal as you can. You don't want to clutter it up with things like posters, clothes. You want a nice clear space. Now that said, by all means you could put a textured panel behind your stereo setup that of course will help with the sound, with the acoustics of the room, but that's more an acoustics thing. You don't want to go ahead and grab grab a huge thing uh, like that if you don't need to. And it's nothing that's going to keep you from keeping it clean. It's just an added thing. but. You don't want it to be so barren that it sounds echoey. So you want to have your room filled enough where it sounds great with stuff in in front of the stereo, you know, or around the stereo, but not on the pieces itself. You don't want anything hanging around uh, that's going to draw the eye away or take away the ambiance of it, the simplicity of it, because it's just about the music and you listening and hearing things not so much seeing things. With that said, what you're seeing is hopefully the jacket, you're reading the jacket, you're looking at the pictures on the vinyl record itself uh, and not, not in your room. You're closing your eyes and, and you're around this minimal space. If you have the steep dollar for an Ames chair, go ahead and purchase that and lay back and just listen. With that said, you want to keep things simple. Bring everything to the middle. So have your system, have your turntable in the center. That's what I do. I then put the speakers on either side, whether they have been in the past tower speakers on either side, tilted inward, tilted however you want, straight on. Whatever the room you're listening to warrants, you might want to move your, your speakers around. Uh, I had Bose speakers at one time which were huge, but I still had them on either side tilted inward. But with that said, I now have these Yamo speakers on either side, far apart, six feet apart you want, and you know, at the very least, if you can, further, perfect. I keep my receiver right at the bottom there and I, and I dust it. You know what I dust it with? I dust it with this. This is my handy dandy friend. I go ahead about twice twice a month and go ahead and, and just dust everything lightly, lightly, just go around. You don't want your tone arm to fall off the little hanging hook and like just bobble around. You don't want that. You don't want that. So go ahead and lock it down and then go ahead and just dust real lightly with this first. First and foremost, do this to your receiver and speakers as well. If you have dogs, that will take care of most of the hair. Secondly, what I would suggest is if you have a can of compressed air, use one of those air cans with the long little red straw. Get one of those from any Ace Hardware, hardware store, Walmart, wherever they have them, they have them because they're for computers and tech and stuff. So you can go ahead and spray that in the crevices where this couldn't get you can go ahead and spray the air in there. It'll get rid of all of that dust. Spray a little bit of multi-surface cleaner on there. Real lightly, just go around the turntable, go around your receiver. If you had a party and you've got like a rings from drinks on top of your speakers, you wipe that clean. 
wipe that clean with a microfiber cloth uh, with some multi-surface cleaner and you'll be in good shape for the most part. Just always keep everything neat. Just keep everything neat. You're there, you're listening. Uh, you, you know, you don't want to throw everything everywhere. You don't want to throw it all over the place. You don't want to have a million records out. I mean, of course, if you're going to plan on listening to them, sure, but you don't want to leave records out. Uh, you want to put them back where they belong. You got to kind of be a meticulous kind of OCD kind of person to keep this kind of like minimalist setup intact. And that is what I am. When I'm around, I'm like always on top of this, keeping track of it, like looking at it, like dust in the dirt, blowing the, I'm always going. And of course, always you've got your AudioQuest brush, uh, not a sponsored ad. I just highly recommend this AudioQuest brush because what you could do is you could even do this around the uh, the cork that I've got on my on my plinth there you just go around and just pick up all of it pick up all that dust that's sitting there I used to have a dust cover I don't like the look of the dust cover as much over top my turntable so I detached it first of all it had so many uh, scrapes and scratches that I couldn't get out and I didn't want to purchase a new dust cover. So uh, of course, if you have a dust cover, put the dust cover down. Uh, that will help you, you know, from having to always dust, you know, your stuff. Of course, you'll still have to dust the receiver, the table it's on, you know, keep up with the dust because that dust will cling to your vinyl if you want to go play it. So always keep up with the dust. Use the air hose, use this anywhere you can. I even use this sometimes around the turntable, like just to get that residual stuff that I couldn't get with this. All dust will cling to these bristles, and that is the key. That's what I love about this Audio Quest thing. And then when you when you clean it, don't touch the bristles, just go like that. And that's all you have to do to get rid of the dust and dander and debris on this. And other than that, my process of cleaning up would be just to maintain it keep up with cleaning up so you're not letting weeks go by and stuff's piling up and you're not listening to records as much because it doesn't look as appealing as you want it to look and it's not what you're you know you're just going to spiral down a rabbit hole of uh, discontent if you're letting this stuff go if you're not vacuuming the floor because the floor is important if you've got a rug that any dust is going to cling and make sure uh, that you've got you've got it all covered all the time keep up with it be meticulous with it if you're it's a responsibility it's like a house plan having a hi-fi setup is like having a house plan keep up with it you know trim it uh, you want to water it you want to make sure it's good it's got sunlight you know that you keep up with it change it during the seasons it's where it's going to get sun in your house like you want to do the same with this you just want to always keep up with it look at it like if it's dirty dusty keep up with the dust and you will be in great shape uh, other than that just a multi-surface cleaner on it that's all i can really say and just keep it neat uh, run a tight ship when it comes to your uh, hi-fi setup uh, make sure nobody defiles that sacred space it's a listening space for you to enjoy uh, you, your your wife, your family to enjoy. So don't let them uh, muck it up. Uh, keep it kind of sacred. Keep it. Uh, make it a rule in your household to go ahead and uphold the stereo system, or you're not like fiddling with it and you know adding all this stuff to it and decluttering it up with with toys if you have kids and whatnot. Something will end up falling, you'll end up bumping into something at some point because it's so cluttered. So keep it minimal, uh, kind of restrict your sound system to a room in your house uh, where you can enjoy uh, the sounds that you're, you're pumping out on vinyl. Another interesting thing I can suggest when cleaning your receiver is going ahead and getting a Q-tip. Q-tips for your ears, go ahead and get in there uh, into the little like crevices where your hands can't get in and don't ever put a kitchen utensil in any of the holes just use uh, an, a q-tip and go ahead and get into the you know the headphone jack you know get in get in all the little nooks and crannies maybe even spray a little bit of multi-surface cleaner on it and go ahead and get in there get get it cleaned up uh, you can use glass cleaner if you don't have multi-surface cleaner. Windex works fine. It's also an aesthetic thing where you want to go on a marketplace like Amazon and choose the things that will look good 
to you. This is just a TV stand, this this thing that the system that the system's on. You can go ahead and pick out a TV stand of your choosing or a side console table or a sideboard uh, that will accompany that and be the right height for you. Think about the height because uh, I'm always bending over to to play records. And so that's important too, like pick things that will match your home that aren't too bulky and black and because that'll just make it look like an early 2000s kind of stereo. You want it to look high end if you're going to, uh, you know, see it every day. You want it to look great, but also not break the bank. I suggest looking at other folks' videos. If you like my setup, go ahead, go on Target, get this TV console, go to Amazon, get the Yamo speakers. Uh, the receiver and the turntable are vintage. Go on Facebook Marketplace for those. You can always find great deals if you're patient on eBay. Uh, but Facebook Marketplace I highly suggest because you want to not have to ship this stuff. You want to go get it yourself uh, because you can't risk the, the issue of it uh, you know, falling apart and shipping and getting tossed and torn about in the shipping process. So go ahead and be patient. Look on Amazon. Look on Facebook marketplace and just pick stuff that that your eye is drawn to uh, and keep it clean because you'll be proud that you picked it up you found it you got a good deal on it you want to clean it up good multi-surface cleaner uh, q-tips you know whatever you need to keep it clean so folks happy listening andrew i hope i answered your question uh, make it your own make your space your own have your favorite things in there that add a little bit of uh, your own touch your own kind of spin on what you want to see every time you spin a record. Uh, have it not be too cluttered with stuff. And no matter what, if you keep up with it and you, you maintain the standard that you're looking for, you'll always be happy with your stereo system. And with that out of the way, friends, I want to thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can find me lounging to a melody. Take care, folks, and keep it clean and enjoy. Thank you.